one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing microphone. Testing microphone. Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, people.
Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Alejandra Beatriz Guzman. Andrea Fabiola Menjivar. Cecilia de Los Ángeles Adrián. Cecilia. César Guadalupe Enríquez. Edgar Abel Tejada. I'm here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Edson Stanley Hernández. Elvira Lorenza Álvarez. Ileana María Los Guerrero. Irma Raquel García. Okay. Joana Yesenia García. Here, teacher. Okay. Jose Daniel Chavez. Present, teacher. Okay. Catherine Alejandra Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present, teacher. Okay. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Okay. Samuel Isaac Flores. Tania Pamela Montoya. Present, Mister. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, that's on. Okay. Today we're going to start with this reading. This article is called Yes or No. Yes or No. I already played the, or recorded the reading in WhatsApp for you. I recorded the audio there. So um, I will play the audio. Let me see. Um, sure. I'm sharing the sound. Reading, yes or no? One, living in a foreign culture can be exciting, but it can also be confusing. A group of Americans who taught English in other countries recently discussed their experiences. 
they decided that miscommunications were always possible, even over something as simple as yes and no. On her first day in Micronesia, Liza thought people were ignoring her requests. The day was hot and she needed a cold drink. She went into a store and asked, do you have cold drinks? The woman there didn't say anything. Lisa rephrased the question. Still, the woman said nothing. Lisa gave up and left the store. She later learned that the woman had answered her. She had raised her eyebrows, which in Micronesia means yes. This reminded Jan of an experience she had in Bulgaria. She had gone to a restaurant that was known for its stuffed cabbage. She asked the waiter, do you have stuffed cabbage today? He nodded his head. Jan eagerly waited, but the cabbage never came. In that country, a nod means no. Tom had a similar problem when he arrived in India. After explaining something in class, he asked his students if they understood. They responded with, with many different nods and shakes of the head. He assumed some people had not understood, so he explained again. When he asked again if they understood, they did the same thing. He soon found out that his students did understand. In India, people nod and shake their heads in different ways depending on where they come from. You have to know where a person is from to understand if they are indicating yes or no. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, I want you to take time again and read the article. And after that, there are some questions here to respond. What were these Americans doing in other countries? What was Lisa trying to buy? How do people show yes, Micronesia? Who was Jan talking to? What does a head nod mean in Bulgaria? And why did Tom misunderstand his class? Then there are some words that you have to define what are they referring to. It. Part one, line two. It. Part one says part one, line two. This it. Oops. This it. What does did it refer to? Okay, that is the, the idea. What does that word, it, in part one, line two. What do, what does it refer to? In this case, it refers to living in a foreign culture. Yeah. Let me help you with that to guide you. It refers to living in a foreign culture.
then you have to continue with the others. There, her, that country, the same thing. Okay. Work on that, please. Let me send the pictures through WhatsApp. Can you read the article and respond to questions, please? Okay. I'll send you to work in groups to help each other, okay? You can help each other. You can work together, okay? Join the breakout rooms, please, and work together.
Did you finish, people? No, teacher. <laughs> No? Okay. Okay, I will give you more time. You need more time? Please. <laughs> Okay, no problem. A couple of minutes. Okay. Go back then.
Okay, people. So what were these Americans doing in other countries? Who can respond? Doubt English. Okay, could you give me a well-structured answer? Okay, a group of American who taught English in the other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the question. What were these Americans doing in other countries? You, you they got the were, idea. Ah, okay. They, they, are, were, they are teaching English. Teaching English. They are teaching English. No, they, they were. were. They were. Ah. They were. They were teaching, were. teaching uh -huh. English. Teaching English. Yes. What was Lisa trying to buy? Lisa was trying to buy a cold drink. Okay. How do people show jet in Micronesia? They say yes when they raise their eyebrows. They say yes when they run. Yeah. Okay. Who was Jan talking to? She was talking with the waiter. He was talking to a waiter. Mm -hmm. uh, what does a head nod mean in Bulgari Bulgaria? A head nod. Not... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I had not in Bulgaria means not. Why did Tong misunderstand his class? Hello? Hello? Why did Tom misunderstand his class? Hmm. Because, because in India have many ways to say yes or no when they move their head.
the student confused him. Mm -hmm. And then he had to repeat to okay. explain the class. Okay, let's say that. Okay, number two, that part B. It refers to living in a foreign culture. There, part one, line four, what, what does there refer to? Line four. Part one, line four. One, two, three, four. There, this there. This there, what is the meaning of what does there refer to? That miscommunication were always possible. No, but the mean the word there. What does the uh, word there? They they refer to. When they say there experiences. I think that it referred to the group of Americans. For the English, no, we're going to discuss the, yes, the group of American. They refers to a group of Americans. Okay, number three, here, part two, line eight. Part two, line eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here. Here. Who is her? Her eyebrows means no. Yes. This word exactly this word. Oh, her. her. She later when... learned that the woman had answered her. This her. What does ref What does it refer to? To the woman, what one? Uh -huh, that Lisa, Lisa, get up and left the store. The woman in the store. Mm -hmm. She later learned that the woman had answered her. No. To so Jen? No, part two is not about Jen. It's referring to Lisa? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it refers to Lisa. Four, part three, line six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In that country, what country are they talking about? To Bulgaria. You're right. Bulgaria.
the same thing, part four, line seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The same thing. What, what does the same thing? When he asks again if they understood, they did the same thing. What did they do? He explained again. Notes, notes and shakes of the head. Yes. When he asked again if they understood, they, the people, the students, did the same thing. Yes. What did they do? They responded with many different nods and shakes of the head. Okay. Oh, so look at this. So these are a uh, few words, but they are key to understand the right meaning of a paragraph. So it is important to know exactly what are they referring to when we read, okay? Very good. <clears throat> Any question, people? No, teacher. Have you ever had a similar communication problem in another country or sometimes with children? No? Okay. Well, let's take a look to this snapshot. Wow. That is what we'll be working on tomorrow. The top eight newspaper sections. Percent of adult US newspaper readers who read each section? Main news, well, 70% of adults read the main news. Sports, 43%. Editorials, 42%. Business news, 39%. Classified ad, 37%. Comics, 36%. Movie and TV listing, 33%. Food and cooking, 32%. Ok. 
Okay. By the way, nowadays, do you read newspapers? Who reads newspapers? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> I don't see newspaper close to me. Yeah, even though when I need some newspaper to clean a window, to clean a mirror, I can't find. <laughs> I used to get newspaper to fall the avocados. Yeah. Pack the avocados or to clean a window, to clean a mirror, because it's good to clean glass. But now, I cannot even find newspaper in my house to clean something. Yeah. But anyway. Homework uh, for students. <laughs> yes, only for homework, so. But anyway, there are, these are the, the common sections of a newspaper. Even digital newspapers, so they, these are the the common sections. Yeah. So one question says, which sections contain daily news? Can you tell me which of these sections in a newspaper contain daily news? Main news. Main news. Only. Find business news. Business news. Sports, yeah. maybe. Sports, yes. The secrets, ads. Classified ads. Classified well, ads. Comics. Those are not news. The ads are not news. Comics are not news. So daily news, you can find daily news in main news, sports, and business news. Which sections are for entertainment? Comics. Mm -hmm. Comics. Movie and movie TV listing. Comics. Comics. Movie and TV listing. Food and cooking. Food and cooking for entertainment? Um, okay. It's possible. Someone loves to cook. Okay, but if you had a newspaper or when you had a newspaper in the past, which was your favorite section? Comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, comics and sports. Yes, Come, me too. Well. <laughs> I always started the newspaper by the back cover. By the end. <laughs> the comics to <the> Pandorito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. When I was a child, I waited for the comic section. Okay. Very good. Nowadays, we don't have, we don't read newspapers. Okay, people. So tomorrow we'll be talking about this. Uh, there's an article here to read, something to read, and these grammars. It's gonna be nice. Past continuous versus simple past. Sounds interesting. Okay, let's stop here. Um,
don't forget to continue with the exercises on the platform, right? Okay, we're teacher. Going to, we're going to finish this week, this module. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, teacher. Eh, eh, como me conecté tarde, no sé si me logró tomar asistencia. Yes, it's on. Okay. Yes, I did it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Then, no, it's on here. Anyone else? Yo también. Who's, who is, who is that yo? I wasn't Ileana. looking. Oh, Ileana, okay, Ileana. Anyone else? Samuel, Rafael, Cesar, Andrea, and Alejandra. They didn't show up, right? Okay. See you tomorrow, people. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Enjoy. Have a good night, teacher. Have a good one, Thank everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Yeah.